Hey everyone, I'm doing some catch-up reviews for John Wick 2 and the Lego Batman movie, which were films that were released just before the Mono Report was created. So there was a little window there where I did miss creating reviews for those films. So I'm now catching up on some of them due to sort of a slow movie news week as the world this week is sort of engrossed by E3 and the video game world. So that's kind of where the focus is this week and away from movies. But I will do movie catch-up reviews every now and then if I do miss a movie. Movie or there are movies that I had seen just before the mono report was a thing and I just feel like going ahead and making a review for them so these things will come around every now and then but with John Wick 2 out now on blu-ray as of today I think I thought I'd do a review for the film be warned there will be some mild spoilers for the film if you haven't seen it it did come out back in February back here in Vancouver but I do recognize that the release around the world was kind of staggered for the film so if you haven't seen it and it was released do know that any mild spoilers that I do have will probably come towards the end of the review so clock out maybe the last minute or so or skip forward to the score if that's your thing but anyway on with the review John Wick Chapter 2 is the sequel to 2014 surprise sleeper hit John Wick with Chad Stelhesky directing after co-directing the original film with Matrix stunt partner and performer David Leitch who instead of co-directing John Wick 2 went on to direct Atomic Blonde. John Wick 2 follows Keanu Reeves back as John Wick continuing directly from the end of the first film and has John Wick thrown back into the world of the Continental after being set up with a blood marker from Italian crime lord Santino. Now I freaking adore John Wick 1. It came out of nowhere in 2014. No one was anticipating it. The trailer didn't come out for the film I think about a month before the film was actually released. Lionsgate didn't have faith in the film and all of a sudden we just got this amazing throwback to 90s action. People do not make films like this anymore. It's so so refreshing. These two films really are the epitome of the 90s action film. This sequel goes the bigger and better sequel route while structurally being the same as the original. So no Nothing particularly new if you've come to love the first film and come to know what to expect from a film like John Wick. Rather than offer a personal revenge story like the first film, John is kind of forced back into the world under a contract, which while isn't as impactful or interesting as the revenge story of the first and does offer less motivation for the character, it really is the only logical way here I think to get John back into the game. The film here really is beautifully shot and beautifully paced as well. Stahelski really comes into his own with this film. The movie is two hours long, but feels like an hour and a half. That's really saying something. The movie offers a 20 minute intro that continues on from the last film and sort of starts with a bang by offering a vignette of Buster Keaton, who is who is often referred to as the ultimate stuntman and is obviously a big inspiration for this film. As of the first film, this film contains all stunts that are all choreographed. All the action here is in camera. It's beautiful, it's satisfying, it's exactly what you expect from one of the stunt performers of The Matrix. It is a fantastically choreographed film. The only real quiet moments here are between the opening and the first hour mark, as the world of the Continental in that time sort of expanded to international locations like Rome, and the world is sort of built up like a good sequel should. The last hour is essentially non-stop action with very few moments to breathe, including one scene which features a great Matrix reunion with Lawrence Fishburne, which contains a good few nods to his character Morpheus from the Matrix films. The film does offer a great rivalry between John and Common. The rivalry is elevated by both Keanu Reeves and Common doing their own stunts and choreography, and I did almost want a bit more of Common in this film. He's definitely more interesting than Ruby Rose in this film, who, don't get me wrong, is a great actress in, say, Orange is New Black. She does feel miscast here. It doesn't feel quite like a role that suits her. And I'm almost sort of curious as to whether you could have swapped out the roles of Common and Ruby Rose in this film. And maybe that would have offered maybe a bit more of an interesting rivalry here. But the film builds up to a big cliffhanger for John Wick 3, which I hear is possibly shooting at the end of 2017, which I really hope is the case. But this build up really feels earned and gets you really pumped for the sequel and raises the stakes considerably. I think it'll definitely avoid that feeling of John 
being forced into the world unceremoniously like at the start of this film. Rather with John Wick hopefully having more of a manhunt, fugitive style feel, which I think would be much more interesting for that character. I mean, I kind of hope that Ian McShane, who is an actor who I absolutely adore, does kind of end up being the big bad for that film. And I feel like with the introduction of Common in this film and having a little bit of a rivalry, if you had sort of that role extended to a big bad role, in John Wick 3, possibly with someone maybe who could offer another physical challenge like Common does for Keanu, then I think you'd have something really kind of special to close off the John Wick trilogy. But honestly guys, go and enjoy John Wick 2. It's going to be really great to marathon the John Wick films when John Wick 3 is released. John Wick Chapter 2 is out on Blu-ray today. If you have seen the film in theatres and you love it, I'd say buy it on Blu-ray. Otherwise, buy it on Blu-ray anyway. If you haven't, it's a film that's worth having on Blu-ray. I'd say. I'm giving the film an 8.5 out of 10. John Wick 2 is so much fun. It's a great action film. People really don't make films like this. Go and enjoy it. If you like this review guys, do hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to leave a comment down below in the comments section. If you want to subscribe, do hit the subscribe button and click the little bell next to it which will remind you of when the Mono Report uploads new videos. And don't forget to also follow the Mono Report on Facebook and Twitter at the Mono Report. Thank you so much guys. Stay right here for your Mono Fix. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.